So they ask us to solve a logarithmic equation. Now logarithmic equations can come in different forms and stuff uh, of how we're going to solve them. But these are just kind of basic equations like we've been working with. They're in that form, that logarithmic form. And then we want to just find the value of x in these equations. Now notice that in all three equations, the x is in a different location. So what we're going to do is first take it out of the logarithm form and put it in exponential form. So I'm going to take the base, x, raise it to the exponent, 2, and then it equals 64. Okay? Um, so this says x squared equals 64. So what's the square root of 64? You could say, well, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. You could do that. And you might think plus or minus, okay, but x is going to equal 8. Now you might say, why is it positive 8? Why can't it be negative 8? Back in our definition, the base has to be, if you remember for exponential equations, functions, when we had f of x equals a to the x, a had to be greater than um, 0, okay? So it, we need the positive case. It can't be negative. You can't have the base be negative on these. All right, so that's that one. And now we're going to have 5. Go and get the 3. So a base of 5, exponent is 3, equals x. Now that just says 5 to the third power is equal to x. Well, we know what 5 times 5 times 5 is. It's 125. So we get 125 equals x. All right, so we've got one more. It's got a base of 1 half. And then we're going to raise it to the exponent, x. And it's got to equal 1 fourth. So now how are you going to get the answer to this? Well, you might have to think a little bit. Like if I have 1 half, I'm going to raise it to some power and I'm going to get 1 fourth, what would that be? And the answer is 2, because if you take 1 half and you square it, you're going to get um, you know, 1 half times 1 half, which is 1 fourth. Okay? So the exponent is 2. How do I know that? Well, kind of like trial and error type thing. I thought, eh, I think it's going to be 2, because 2 squared is 4. Um, Another way you can look at it, if you don't like that, <laughs> and we have some equations later on where we do this, but you could say, well, 1 half to the x, and that should really be in parentheses. I should have put that in parentheses. And then you could think about 1 fourth being 1 half squared, and then you could see, oh, that x and that 2 have to be the same. Okay? So I think maybe we did equations like that in the last section. So that would be a good way to do it. Okay. Oh, I didn't write x equals 2 here. Okay. 